Okay, so we are back with 70s to die. Continuing the recording session, which I don't normally do. Usually I just do these videos one at a time, but I'm recording like three of these back to back to back just because I don't trust my Elgato. So we're just going to do this now. We're just going to live in constant fear of my Elgato. It's all good. So we're going to go get that bridge made. We're going to farm for some more of these berries. Well, not it's not really farming. It's more scavenging. But I'm just running around berry picking, really. And, of course, it has to rain. The day that I have to move anywhere, it has to rain. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we'll get this bridge made. And then we'll, uh, we'll make... We'll, I think maybe we'll start work on the bridge. I don't know if we have time to do that, but we can start working on it. We're going to have to move everything to the new base once we uh, once we have the time. I think that'll be the next video we'll do is we'll move everything. I think we'll just kind of start working on the trench and the bridge and everything this video. But, oh, I don't have my shovel. I can just make a new one. It's fine. climb this fucking thing. So, um, I guess I should talk about, I was going to talk about last video because, like, I thought about it, but I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I should bring up now because most people don't usually watch the full vids. Which, by the way, please feel free to because it helps the channel, but so, Midnight Suns, not getting played for Hauntober. Um, I just, I have to get all Hauntober stuff done, like, this month, slash next month. So, unfortunately, doing, like, a really close-cut one-off, because that would literally come out the day of an upload. That wouldn't really be doable, as much as I would love to. Um, I might do it in December, uh, and part of the reasoning is, Hogwarts Legacy got fucking delayed again. They they have delayed this game time and time again. It's like payday fucking three. At least that game's getting a fucking launch. Oh Jesus Christ! I like I get it, and I I'm not even mad at Hogwarts Legacy and Payday Two specifically. I'm just bringing them up as examples. But my frustration is like this is happening a lot with games, and with Payday Three. Payday 3 was very specifically an example of they couldn't get a publisher. Like, they need to retrain their staff to work with the new engine, and then on top of that, they couldn't get a publisher to fucking launch their game. So, like, that was the Payday 3 problem. And then Hogwarts Legacy, they keep saying they're doing polishing work, which, on one hand, I'm like, good, because the last game they got released that didn't have the proper polishing work for it was Elden Ring and I think I've stated how dissatisfied I was with that game because like look I'm a Dark Souls fanboy like I, I do like most of the Dark Souls games slash love most of the Dark Souls games but Elden Ring was a mess I mean you had bosses in the main campaign that were literally, like, just re-fucking skins of, like, optional bosses and stuff. And that's, like, that's unacceptable. Like, that is completely unacceptable. Like, people keep saying, oh, we want DLC for Elden Ring. No, you don't. It would just be more recycled shit. Like, it would literally just be more recycled shit. Like, they were running out of ideas for the main game. What makes you think they're prepared for a DLC? Just because Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne had good DLCs doesn't mean, like, it's going to have a good one. I mean, fucking Dark Souls 2 had one of the worst DLCs I've ever played in my life. Sekiro didn't have DLC. And, I mean, Dark Souls 1 is kind of a mixed bag for DLC because there's some good stuff and there's a lot of bad stuff in there, too. Dark Souls 1's a game I struggle to fucking like, honestly. I, I really try to like Dark Souls 1, but it's got a lot of problems. And every time I go to play any Dark Souls game, it's just like... I could play any other Dark Souls, but I could also just play Dark Souls 3. And 3 is by far the best one. 
Like, look, I know there are a fair amount of Bloodborne fanboys out there, and, like, fair enough, it's a good game, but I just would rather play Dark Souls 3. Like, I'm sorry, but when it comes to Dark Souls, like, Dark Souls 3, for me, is easily the best one. Felt like the most, like, thought and effort went into it. Like, I'm just thinking of, like, all the Dark Souls games I've played over the years. Like, that one felt like it had the most, like, just thought put in. Like, just so much effort must have gone into it to make it such a masterpiece. I mean, you want to talk about review scores? That's a fair one. Dark Souls 3 getting a 10 out of 10. That game fucking deserves it. Okay, where's our bridge? Uh, bridge. There we go. Reinforced draw bridge. Craft. 20 fucking minutes. A full day to craft a bridge. Jesus Christ. Uh, empty vending machine. Like, what? what is this for, though? Uh, this allows you to rent a vending machine for a single game month. The time display will be shown game units. 2,500? Jesus. That ain't worth it. No, there's nothing about that that's worth that. Where do they think I'm getting these casino tokens from, mate? These are rare. Uh, okay, so wait, what do you got for weapons? Do you have any ammo I can buy? You do, but I can't afford it. That is a shame. That is a damn shame. Okay. Got nothing to say? Alright. He just shotguns me in the back so I try to leave. He's sick of my shit. Sick of my window shopping ass. Uh, so I don't really want to make any, uh... I don't really want to, like, dig anything until I know where I'm putting this thing. You know what I could do, actually? Wood frame. Oh, Jesus, that used a lot of wood. Okay, let's make that much. And let's, uh, let's harvest some more wood. Okay, so I can go out this far at least. So. So I think what I'm going to do for this is I think I'm going to go... I'm trying to think. Maybe, like, out to... Out to here-ish? Could work. Yeah, and then we make, like, the trench around it. Let's keep smashing this. Athletics is almost there. Construction tools is literally almost done. By the time I'm gathering up the wood I need, honestly, I should be ready. Hypothermia. I got just the solution for that. Trying to like look around, make sure there's no bears or anything I need to be concerned about. Okay, let's uh let's just make the max amount, because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Oh yeah, god, there's a big old pile of coal here too. I didn't even realize. So yeah, I'm thinking like First of all, we just swap out this for this because I gotta make like the markers as to where I'm putting this. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to do that because I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, now nah, I kind of want to wait to see how big this fucking bridge is. I've never made one of these. I imagine it's gotta be pretty fucking huge. I mean, it's a full drawbridge. Right? You have coffee beans. I'm gonna steal your coffee beans. I'm really sorry, sir, but I gotta borrow these. So, the other thing we can do 
one of these days is we got to go over to the air traders and see what he's got. Uh, you know what, let's just go around, let's go pick some more berries, I'm thinking. So, I also kind of thought about the base, and I was thinking, how can I, how can I kind of work on this and, like, get more space out of it? So, I was thinking I'll put, like, a door, let me just open this up. I think I'll like chop into here a little bit, make a door, and like have a whole section over this way. Maybe even connecting like over here ish. Like instead of having these pillars here, I'll think maybe like make this part of the building. Um, like I have a lot of plans for construction in this game, and those plans are going to. Those plans are going to do some very nice things for our construction skills. We're going to gain a lot of level ups. Now we're going to need to chop down a lot of trees too, but it's worth it. It's worth it for a bigger base, it's worth it for the construction skills upgrade, and it's worth it for a lot of other stuff. I'm going to chop down a couple of these trees while I'm over here. Again, I don't really want to damage this environment too much, but at the same time, I really gotta get some. Oh yeah, Let's get some of these berries. God, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of snow berries. If I could figure out, like, I swear to God, there's a recipe for these. If I could figure that out, we'd have a lot of fucking like food. So much food. I think there's like a gel we can make with it, and then we make like a drink from the gel. I don't remember. It's something along that lines. Those lines. Fuck. I didn't work good right there. I'm sorry. Oh god, look how many snowberries we got. Oh, we got 60 snowberries. Oh, we got so many snowberries. Oh, so we're gonna live off snowberries. Uh, glad to see the shitty weather's over here, too. That's good. Glad that's the one thing that won't change. Why do I feel like it would snow in the desert if I moved out there? Cool rain that lasted, like, ten seconds. I need to pause for another car going by. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man, these fucking street racers. And the city's doing nothing about them. Ugh, God. Get this tree smashed down. Oh, mining tools went up. That's good. Okay, so athletics. Athletics is almost done. Construction is almost done. Uh, mining still got a ways to go, but I do have to, I'm mean, gonna have to, like, chop down a lot of trees in the near future, so, I mean. So, another thing I kind of thought about doing once we're done with the series, I was thinking about this, we could actually do a, uh, a create mode series for this, because this game does have a Minecraft-style create mode. Um, so we could do that. I've thought about doing that. That would be... I think that would be a good idea to kind of do. We need to eat. Our food situation is not good. Put these away. Okay, let's let's swap these out because that's just a little silly. Like, uh, silly. I wouldn't say suli. Suli is not a word. That was Suli of me to try to say Suli. So yeah, I'm thinking like we put like a door here. I'm trying to figure out if that's two or one block. I think it's two blocks. Put a door there, and I'm thinking connecting down into like the uh, the pit we're gonna make, maybe like that, or I might just make like a ramp system going up. 
I swear to God, that buzzer scares the shit out of me. I don't know why. Oh, God, that scares the hell out of me every fucking time I hear it. Like, it's not the second time I hear it, because I expect it. And I should expect it from the time, but I don't. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. So, we can get better armor, too, pretty soon. Actually, we could probably do that right now if we wanted to, because I'm pretty sure the only requirements, like, I think, cloth fragment, 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 I can't speak. This video, in particular, I cannot speak. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's probably because it's, like, 2 a.m. We, we can get some better armor if we want to. I don't know what it requires, though. I think it's just, like, forged iron and, like, cloth fragment, which we can easily make. Either that or it's leather, and leather is a bigger problem, but I think it's cloth fragment. I mean, all you need for cloth fragment is con, so... Um, so, seeing as Hogwarts Legacy has been pushed back, and unless Spearman's PS5 gets announced as, uh, coming out sooner rather than later. Okay, that's, that's way too much. We don't need that much. Um, I think we might go back to Switch content in, uh, in January, potentially. I mean, we'd need to be back on, uh, back on PS5 before, uh, before February, because that's when Hogwarts Legacy supposedly comes out. I don't believe it anymore. Wish I could believe it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I canceled the, uh, the wood I was making because I started using wood. Because the game got confused. Oh, no, I decided not to do it. God damn it, I have a terrible short-term memory. Oh, God. Oh, it's too late now. Look at it go. Well, our mis miscrafting skill is going to be great. I mean, I guess we need more wood for the base, but oh, I feel stupid now. That's good. We're slowly getting up there. Let's run around a bit in here, try and get athletics up. Just run back and forth. Back and forth till all that athletics is done. You know, I feel very cramped in that little room. That little foyer area. There we go. There, there goes athletics up to 64. Um, construction tools. Yeah, we need a little bit more for that. Oh, yeah, I can't craft that. That's right. Oh, yeah, we're going to hit 23 for sure. Good. Let's not go out there immediately. So, I'm thinking what we might do as well with this ramp is I think we could get rid of this for starters because that's really unnecessary and just kind of causes problems. It's like I can just go out this way without that fence there. I think what we'll do is we'll incorporate this whole ramp into the building. So I think what we're going to do is just completely restructure this whole damn thing. And once we restructure this, we'll have a bigger base and also more room to do stuff with. Because, I mean, this storage is nice and all, but I'd rather have, like, unique rooms for everything. Also, what we're going to do now that we have access to the crafting table is we're going to, uh... We're going to make those individual uh, crates that have, like, the signs on them. Like, the the crates that have, like, meds and, like, food and miscellaneous and weapons and all that stuff. Like, we'll just have those. I think, honestly, what we'll do is we'll devote whole rooms to them. Like, we'll have one room that's just meds, one room's just weapons and ammo, one room that's just, like, all that stuff. Um... Like, that's kind of the goal, I think, with the new base. Because, I mean, once we get the trench done, we're working solely on this. This whole thing. Like, we're going to get rid of these in favor of, like, more of these. And we're going to, like... There's there's going to be tons of changes made to this base. So. And now we're going to get our bridge. It took day 80. Day 80 was the bridge day. But we got it. 
I'm feeling really good about this. Like, we're, we're doing so well. The only thing I'm concerned about is our food situation or our ammo situation. Those two things are kind of tied together. I can, I can just jump over this, which is really funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking, like, yeah, we should... The thing I was kind of hoping for... I don't know why I bothered opening that. We could just jump over it. The thing I'm kind of hoping for... Is I'm kind of hoping we can just kind of get some stuff done. In regards to uh, the bridge. I mean, I wish it wasn't foggy. Because it would make it easier, but... Right, I think we also need the stairs, uh, the stair wood frames. Because it just kind of occurred to me that the stair wood frames might be necessary. I don't know why that tree scared me. I knew it was collapsing. So, stairs. I'll just type in stair. Just in case it's not listed as stairs for whatever reason. Okay. I don't know if we need those, like stairs that big or not. We'll see. We'll see what we need when we can get inside there. I really wish it wasn't raining and foggy, though, because I could get a lot more done. I, I wish I could see a bit better. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. So, we're going to get more wood. If for nothing else, they're working on the base. I'm pretty sure we have enough wood to make our railing. I hope I... I mean, I hope we do. Jesus. Can't imagine we don't. I can't imagine we don't have what we need. I mean, more eggs, fantastic. Uh, snowberry, snowberry. There we go. Is that snowberry? No, it's just tree. Good tree. Let's go pick up our. Uh, go pick up our bridge. I don't know if it's done yet. Might not be, actually. Just curves me, because we did at the very end of yesterday, didn't we? Two minutes. Okay. You know what? We'll chop down a couple trees, come right back, it'll be done. And we can start work on this whole thing. Let's clear this little tree, because it's quite annoying. Let's get rid of all the trees around this area, I think. Try and, like, clear a little bit of a path. Why did that try to fall on top of me when I was nowhere near... Uh, that was... Uh, I don't... I don't even. Oh, look at this big chungus. Oh, you are begging to be chopped down. Look at you. You're all weird and crooked and tall. Yeah, let's get rid of you. I mean, you are begging to be chopped. Yeah, the fact that we're chopping down like 45 at a time is just ridiculous. Okay. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, oh, we need to eat. I didn't realize how hungry we were. We were a hungry boy. Stamina went up. That's good. I mean, our HP is going up too, but HP is not too important. I mean, other than for fighting bears and, like, falling and stuff. Make sure there's no bear down here. It's hard to see with all the, like, the fog and the rain and stuff. Take down this tree. Fantastic. All the way that tree kind of vibrated for a second when we chopped it down. Alright, let's go get our bridge. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's here. It's finally arrived. Good bridge. Get bridge. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit that out, but that's fine. It's like the 50,000 fucking street racing car I've heard today. You know... 
I somehow expected this bridge to be a bit more high-tech than this. I can make it work. Why do I feel like I almost killed myself right there? I feel like I actually almost fucking killed myself. Doing what I just did. Holy fuck, that would have been stupid. Just build this, uh... Let's build this railing. We're gonna build the railing before we build, uh... Before we even bother building the pit, I think. Fill that in. Just get fully to work on the br like the the railing, and then once we're done with the railing, we can get everything else done. We just need a nice little perimeter kind of thing going on. Because I really don't want to have to worry about falling off of this and dying like a fucking idiot. Because God knows I will. I mean, we don't have the materials to make a, a second half of this. This weird, stumpy little bridge is what we're going to have to work with. But honestly, any longer than that, I feel like would be a problem anyway. So not too upset about it. I mean, I'd like a bit of a bigger bridge than this, only because it would look cooler, but... You know, we're talking about survival here, we're not trying to make it look pretty. Like, we're going for efficiency. There we go. Beautiful, look at that. Why are you making my life miserable, game? Sorry, tiny tree, but you're in the way. You're very distracting. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how... I guess it doesn't really matter. No matter what we do, this is going to be kind of like weirdly uh, asymmetrical. There's no possible way we're going to be able to make this, like... Try to make sure I can't, like, walk over the side of this anywhere. I think I'm gonna dig down a layer here too just to be safe. Uh it's a little little clunky the way this looks, but I guess it won't matter too much. Get on my way, tiny bush. So now we need uh, we need the stairs. Probably need more than that, but yeah, we need way more than that. We need at least another set of four. There we go. Oh shit! I just realized I didn't uh... game. There we go. You just low in the game, acts weirdly clunky, and just doesn't let you move. Fantastic. There we go. Fill that in. Fill that in. Run around the side. Fill this in. Actually, you know what? I guess we don't need this, do we? We can just put the hole here. It's a little bit of a waste of wood, but at the same time, at least we get to break it down for construction, like, uh, construction leveling. So what do we have? We have until day 84, right? Until the next horde, so we have to kind of get this done before that. I mean, we should be able to get this done relatively fast. I don't see why not. I mean, it's literally just a digging job. It shouldn't be too bad. There we go. So we got our bridge. So at night, this goes up. 
No one, no zombos, no bears can get across. Why do I feel like I have to be really careful where I stand with this, though? So, bridge go up. Bridge go down. Train go boom. No, not train go boom. Um, It's looking good. Right, you know what occurred to me? We also need to put just as many uh just as many of these here because I just thought of that this is also going to be access to the whole God, we're gonna need so much wood for this. This project is gonna take up so much goddamn wood. I wouldn't be surprised if our actual uh our construction tools isn't maxed out by the end of this. I literally would not be shocked if construction tools is fully maxed out by the end of this. Oh god, it's going to take so long to get this done, though. Yeah, there's no way we're getting this done before day, 80, uh, day 84. Day 84. Just keep filling it in. What are you doing for skills? Construction tools going up. Uh, mining tools. It won't take too long to chop down more trees anyway. There we go. Boop, boop. Okay. Now I gotta take the damn fucking stupid ass duster off. I put the damn thing on because I feel like I'm dying of the fucking cold. The next thing you know, I'm dying of the fucking heat. Oh, not. Don't break it, you fucking idiot. God, I'm stupid. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. And to pause again. I, I swear to God, there's like a fucking massive street racing thing going on. No. Don't aim at the block. Fill the block. Become the block. Okay, so we still gotta go further out because we still gotta, uh... Honestly, we could probably even incorporate our uh, base into the wall, I feel like. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll do the base, like, around the base, and then we'll kind of work around from there. Yeah, there's no chance in hell it's getting done before the next potential Horde night. That's really unfortunate, because I was really hoping it would be, but... Oh, well. Okay, it's looking good. Yeah, we're going to have to, like pick this before we continue anything further because I'm not wasting this resource. I refuse to waste any fucking coal. We need coal and I'm not wasting it. There's also potential for nitrous uh, no, not nitrous, nitrate from here. Cuban nitrate as Fast and Furious would tell us. Like, the nationality of the nitrate matters somehow. That That's like the favorite thing because like I, I helped a friend of mine do, like, a, a film review of all the Fast and Furious movies. You know, it just remind me because there's a billion fucking cars racing past me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to fucking add out all of these as much as I would like to. But, it remind me. And I, I watched all those movies to help him with, like, a review of those god-awful films. And... Jesus Christ, just some of the stupid shit. I swear I dropped like 100 IQ points watching it. Like, I, I swear to God, I went from like a fairly high IQ to like negative. Like, I think I owe IQ points from watching those fucking terrible, horrible, god awful movies. Like, look. You can like the Fast and Furious films, just please don't say they're good movies. Like, don't, don't insult cinema that way. They're just the worst. Is that enough to level? Yes. Oh, you bet this bad boy. 
All five of these bad boys going into bartering. Not a single point is going elsewhere, I promise you. That's nice. That's nice trader jewels, but I don't care. Okay, good. So, that's about my base. I'd say we're a little bit past the base, but let's go a little bit further. This is to go even further beyond. Screams for fucking three minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I think, like five more in this direction, just to be sure. I mean, this can be asymmetrical as fuck, but I don't really care. Where's my base? Can't even see my base because the fog's so heavy. You know what? You know what's a good way of testing, actually? So this is the furthest out it goes, right? I'm trying to... So if I just run straight. Okay, I'm not even close. Well, I just heard what sounded like a police chase, so that was interesting. God, the amount of editing work I'm going to have to do on these three videos just because I'm recording this one particular night where apparently just tons of street racing and just awful shit's happening outside. Just noisy shit. For no reason. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to work through the night, but honestly, it's worth it. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Pick up the wood. So, I don't know what's going up before Hunttober. I, I want to talk about this, because I have... The way the scheduling is going, I don't know if one of the Call of Duty series can end up being three parts, or... Or if I'm simply going to end up uh, doing a one-off video. I really don't know. All I do know is that I know COD 4... For sure, this time will definitely be two parts. Because last time it ended up being three, and I ended up just talking about random, like, just, I don't know, I just fucking went on a weird rant for half an hour that made no coherent sense whatsoever. I mean, that was just, that, that rant, that review rant of that game made no sense. What I, I said, looking back on hindsight, was just nonsense. Just absolute nonsense speak. Oh, great. Now we're using four per fucking... Four per thing. Great. Cannot. And we gotta take the tiny rock. It's in the way. Let's go work on this side. Oh, yeah. I forgot to lift the bridge. Not that it matters, but... Gotta get that habit. I mean, hey, if I can get that habit into me... The way that I have the habit of fucking looting things I've already looted. I'll be good to go. Keep building that. Okay, okay, so what we got, what we got. Uh, athletics is going up. Construction tools going all the way up. Construction tools out of control. Mining tools going to be... So, man, I'm still not even done. I'm gonna need way more wood. And this project's not even like I'd say a third done, and I'm burned through most of the wood I, I got, so it's getting pretty bad. I think what I'm gonna do for this section of the wall is I'm just gonna go until I hit like I think an extra tile downward, because I'm looking at we've already passed the uh, the traders. So, um, if we do end up going back to the Switch, I want to talk about this. There is something I do want to play that wasn't originally on my agenda, but 
It came out. It came out a little after I stopped recording on the Switch, sadly, because I would have played it. So let's talk about Coromon for a minute, because this game is taking the fucking internet by storm, and has shredded the Pokemon community into like two. So for anyone not keeping up with this, Coromon is a Pokemon fan game. It's like a it's a Pokemon like I guess you'd call it, but it, it's more or less a fan game. Um, and it's an indie game, and it is significantly better than any Pokemon game that has come out in the last 10 years. Like, literally, I, I played it, and I'm like, this is the best fucking Pokemon, like, I have played since Black and White. Like, it, I, the Pokemon, it, like, the Coromon, excuse me, in it feel more like Pokemon than any of the Pokemon they've released in the last three gens. I... I'm not trying to throw shit at Nintendo here, but at the same time, I can't help but feel like this is the sad state of Pokemon that a fan game is more Pokemon than Pokemon at this point. Like, it's kind of upsetting to me to see. At the same time, I'm like, yeah. I mean, they had to have known this would happen eventually, though. Because, I mean, people are kind of dissatisfied with the state of Pokemon. I mean, I'm not the only one. I mean, this is why I'm kind of like... I mean, it's funny because in an interview, Sony kind of said, like, they're scared of losing Call of Duty to Microsoft. But it's like, do they really have to worry? Like, I can't help but feel like Sony can make a better FPS game than COD at this point. Like, Call of Duty is just... Call of Duty is just dog shit now like it's just the skill based matchmaking has ruined everything like I I don't want to be one of those like oh boomer gamers like oh, Call of Duty was best with Modern Warfare 2 because god knows it wasn't but I can't help but feel like we peaked with Black Ops 3 and then everything else kind of like either was good but not perfect or like bad because like I'm just thinking like Black Ops 4 was like a great COD but not a perfect COD and then you had, like, Infinite Warfare with, you know, with a better developer, it could have been a better game. You had uh, World War II, which was, like, it was a good attempt from a studio with a severe lack of experience, I would say, is, like, the the thing I would say about God Knows Again. Just, again, give it to a better developer. Like, give it to Treyarch and it would have been a lot better. I mean, it's always my big problem with any Call of Duty game at this point. It's like, just hand it to Treyarch. Like, uh, I Like, I can't help but feel like Call of Duty would continue to be Activision's golden goose if they would just be, like, get rid of skill-based and then just hand everything to Treyarch. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not joking when I say that. Like, legitimately. Like, that is how they can make Call of Duty better. Is just hand it to Treyarch and don't like interfere with their work and I'm sure they produce something really good I mean that's how we got Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 which were like what people consider to be like the two perfect COD games I mean that that is literally how we got those two games was they just left Treyarch to their own devices and they made the two best CODs because I mean even Black Ops 4 had heavy interference from Activision Because Activision fucking rushed it out to try and compete with Smash Bros. and, uh, in Battlefield. I mean, honestly, Activision should have just accepted that, like, Black Ops 4 would not sell well the year of its launch. I mean, it did perfectly fine in the year after. Like, in 2019 and 2020, Black Ops 4 did phenomenally well in after sales. It's just, it didn't do well in launch sales because it had a lot of competition. I mean, it had Red Dead 2, it had... Battlefield, it had, uh, I think there was a new Pokemon game that year, too. You had Smash Bros. come out that year. You had, like, there was a lot of stuff that came out in 2018. I really don't think they have to, like, you know, hate themselves for it. Like, it, like, Black Ops 4 was not the problem with 2018. The problem with 2018 was competition. Uh, we need to get more wood. Uh, where's my fire axe? There is. 
Oh yeah, how am I doing for food? Oh god, I need to eat. I didn't even realize. Did not realize my food and water situation was getting that dire. I really should have been paying attention. Okay, so let's uh let's chop these down. Uh they're they're permanently locked in, that's unfortunate. Wait, are they in the way of my wall? Oh, I didn't even realize. Nope, nope, they're not. Thank god. Okay. This rock is though. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna have to work around that. Okay. Probably should have gone a little farther out then. Didn't realize that was a problem. Yeah, that is a big issue. Okay. Let's chop down this tree. Let's chop down a bunch of trees. Just get all the wood we need. And then I think once we finish off day 81, we'll call it a video. And I'll, uh... And I'll do the next one. And then I will try and fix whatever the fuck is wrong with my Elgato. I don't know. Oh, so many snowberries over here, too. Why do I feel like I'm going to get killed by a bear trying to just pick berries? Yeah, God, we... I honestly feel like even with how little these berries are worth, this is like a lot of food. Because, like, we're well over 100 by now, aren't we? Yeah, we're, like, pretty close to over 100. So, I mean, we're we're solid for for berries. We're solid for food. I mean, I'm going to see if there's a way to make this, uh... Make this into something that gives me more food. Because, obviously, that would be ideal. But, at the same time, this is, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, look at this. Look how many berries we found. Oh, and there's so much more, too. Holy shit. Oh, God, there's so many. I probably have to edit that out. I just smacked the fucking desk. I was trying to raise my hand to scratch my fucking head, and then I hit the desk. Oh, there is one thing I want to talk about, actually. I... I I think this is really funny. So, um, the Premier of Ontario, which is where I live, Doug Ford, um, he may or may not have eaten a wasp live on camera. And you know what? Since I already have to add in other video footage, I'm going to add it in right now. It's coming from the health sector. <laughs> Holy Christ. I just swallowed the beef. Oh my Holy God. Christ. I knew that little bugger. Round up, round up. okay? I'm good. He's down here buzzing around right now. God, look at that shit. Like, he just eats the fucking wasp. And then his first reaction is to chug it down. Like, this man's first reaction is to chug down a wasp he just ate. And, like, everyone's saying it's a bee. No, it's a wasp. Look at it. It's definitely a wasp. I've seen enough wasps in my life to identify a wasp. But, like, this man chugs it down. His first fucking reaction to swallowing a fucking wasp is like, oh, bear, rinse it down. Like, what, why was your first reaction to just grab your drink and just be like, yep, chug? I mean, the fucker handled it well, better than I would have. I would have had panic attack. I would have been like, holy fucking shit. Oh, God. Like, that is like one of my worst fears is like eating a wasp or like a spider or something. Oh, God, I hate that. I feel like the, the people eat, like, this many spiders per night thing is probably, like... I, I, I feel like that's got to be, like, a myth. I can't imagine people actively, like... Accidentally, you know, gobble down fucking spiders in the night. I feel like that's not a thing. Also, Spiders in the Night, amazing name for a band. I am full of these. I can't stop making these. It started with Folded Toads, and it just kept going... Like, I'm just infinitely producing great band names. I mean, Purple, you know, Purposeful Sheep was a good one, too. But I feel like Folded Toads was my, my apex. That was, like, the highest I've achieved. Oh, 
Oh god, yeah, this is gonna give us a lot of wood. There we go. Miss crafting went up. Yeah, we might even get to level 30 from this. Because we haven't even started on the digging yet. We're just in the construction phase. Just keep chopping this down. You know what? Let's go until our fire axe breaks. I think that's a good way to go. In the next video, we'll do more construction. And then I'll be it for the play session. Hope to God this renders properly. Jesus Christ. And all because my chair broke and I just didn't didn't heed the warning signs. I, I should have. I've learned. I've learned from this experience. You know what? Having my chair collapse under me, crushing me under a desk, potentially destroying my Elgato, my USB hub, all that shit, it was a learning experience. Granted, a learning experience that may have cost me over $200, but learning experience. I mean, plus I had to get a new chair, but I would have had to get that regardless where or not that one had just completely broken like it did. Oh, God. There goes all my free spending money for a while. And all because of a fucking rickety fucking broken ass chair. I'm trying to fucking get the company to compensate me too. Because I'm like, this chair was not that old. And this chair was not mistreated. There was no reason for it to break the way it did. I mean, y you saw what I fucking posted in that last video with that fucking clip. Like, that was devastation. Like, that was not just a chair breaking down. That was absolute fucking destruction. Like, it looked like it had been through a fucking wrestling, like, ultimate move. Like, that was not, like, your standard, oh yeah, like, the chair kind of broke. Like, no, that fucking, the whole arm is dangling. Like, you can see the fucking thing dangling. The fact that I've used the term dangle to fucking describe my chair is insane. Someone tells me I'm not going to be able to get this one done before this breaks. Oh, you're going to break, aren't you, Fire Axe? Yep, you sure are. Uh, can I just make a new one? Yep, I sure can, and that's going to be way higher quality than this one is. Unfortunately, that also means I can't really work on that any further, but that's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, we're almost at level 24. Athletics is going to take a while. Construction tools I might be able to get done. Mining tools is already gone to level pretty recently. There we go. How'd that do for, uh, for construction? That uh, got me a little higher up. Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, game, 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 there we go. I'm going to have to actually start standing on top of here to do this. I mean, we're not even done because we have to do this on the other side too. Like, this one I'm saying, like, we're going to be, I wouldn't be shocked if we actually hit maximum construction level between this and upgrading the rest of the base and, like, making the rest of the base and stuff. Same goes for miscrafting. Like those two things in particular, I'm kind of like, yeah, we might actually get this fully 100% max leveled. I mean, we're going to get a lot of level ups out of this. I'd say like up to level 30, if I had to predict. Between making the materials, between the construction, between the digging, like there's no way we're not hitting level 30, if not higher. The only thing is I have to not die while I'm doing it, so that's that's a big old problem, but we'll, we'll get, you know, we'll cross that literal bridge when we get to it. I mean, in a way, this is good, because honestly, I'd rather have, like, this be a little bit higher anyway. So it's not, not a big problem. To 
Cool smithing went up. That means the fire axe is done. That's good. Construction tools should be done in a minute now. Yeah, it's pretty close to done. Just keep working on it. It's fine. There we go. You know, it's funny, though, because when that wasp went into Doug Ford's mouth, it reminded me of the uh, the Amber Herd my dog stepped on a bee. Doug Ford ate a bee? I can't do it. I can't do it the way she did it, but it was really funny. I like, look, re regardless of your political stance, you have to admit, seeing a politician eat a bee is really, well, a wasp is really funny. Regardless of your politics... Oh, I think we're too close to this. I think we're going to have to build outward. Yeah, we're going to have to build outward. Okay. That's a problem, but... That's already night. Not happy about that at all. I really hope by the end of this video we can get, uh, we can get our level up one more time. I mean, look at this fucking thing. Look how close it is. Look how close construction tools is. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go... Oh my god, how fucking far do I have to go? No. What? Jesus, man. Oh, there we go. Only had to go out how many spaces? Let's see. One, two, three... Four, five. I only had to go out six spaces in order to fucking... Jesus. Like, I really don't think you need that much space around the traders. I think the interior would do, honestly. Guess they don't want people, like, finding ways to get inside. Although you get kicked out anyway, so I don't see what the problem is. How close am I? Eh, pretty close. Excuse me? No, don't don't shoot at the block. Fill in the block. Mate, you're not making any sense. Okay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the tree and the rocking in my way, because, uh, look how far around these fuckers I'm going to be. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of upset about not being able to do Midnight Suns when I intended, if at all. For the channel, I don't know if I will. That might just be like a personal thing, but like I might just have to play it on my own time, which is fine. I'm more than happy to do it, you know. But at the same time, I would have really liked to do it for the channel, especially for October. But because it's kind of, it's a supernatural game. It's not a spoopy game. I'm a spoopy about it, but would have been fine. Would have been fun. Hey, at least I get to release it potentially in November in time for Black Panther 2 and maybe get some views. View whoring be like. Because thanks, YouTube. Okay, yeah, we should be able to get this done. Pick up the con. We're going to need the con anyway later. Come on. Oh, there we go. Moment of truth. Yes. More bartering skill. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at it go. Oh my god, we might actually be in the exact same fucking spot. I said earlier. Oh my god, I think we still might have to go around this rock. Stop. There. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but we're still going to have to build one layer higher at least. Oh well. It is what it is. Keep going. 
Beautiful. Look at that. You know, in a way, it's actually good because I really think we could just hop over here. I'm actually looking at this. We're pretty low to the ground, so... It's actually pretty okay that we're going to have to go an extra layer higher. I'm not actually against it at all. Okay, so that was actually just there. I thought it was like there was one underneath it, but no. Yeah, so one layer higher is not too bad. Okay, good. Now we're going to start building back. Back the way we came. Turn around and go this way. Now we got to fill it in. Wonderful. And then keep going. Just keep going this way. Ah, oh, good. Rain. My favorite. Well, I'm going to put this back on so I don't get cold and die of hypothermia like an idiot. Well, you know what? I just realized it's 4 a.m. Uh, so we're going to call it a video. And next time we're going to work on this more, we're not going to finish it. There's no way we're finishing it. So, yeah, that's going to be it.